And then welcome to yoga with Katie. Let's come to a comfortable seated position, sitting up nice and tall. Close your eyes for a moment, taking a few calming breath. When you inhale, belly and chest rise at balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to the spine. We are calm. We are quiet. We are relaxed. And we are still. Now we really slowly open up the eyes. Inhale your arms up above the head. Turn the palm up, exhale down. So deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. We never hold our breath. Inhale, arms up above the head. Reach for the sky, lengthening. Exhale, down. Hands on the thighs, sitting up nice and tall. Stretching out the neck next. Ear to shoulder extend the opposite element. Using the same hand guide or support the head. Lengthening, stretch. We leave any tension that you may have. And we're gonna stay here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Take an inhale, and an exhale, and go to the other side. Ear to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand guide or support the head stretch. If there's any stiffness in your neck, any clicking sound, just stay here for a little bit longer. No need to rush. Now we're gonna slowly, slowly come back to center. Take an inhale, and an exhale, we're gonna turn over the right shoulder. Only go to where you're comfortable. Inhale, center. Exhale to the other side. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Take an inhale, and an exhale, and lift the chin up, looking up. And slowly, slowly release, chin to chest. Relieve any tension that you may have. And we're gonna do it one more time. Inhale, center. Exhale, to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, to the left. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Chin up at back. And then chin to chest. Slowly, slowly come back to center. We're gonna look at the right arm bit, slightly cut the chin in. 45 degree angle, looking down. Slowly come back to center. And we're gonna look at the other arm pits. Slightly tuck the chin in. 45 degree angle, looking down. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Take a breath here, shoulder stretch. Right arm up, and across, pull back, creating resistance, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward, pull back. Slowly release, same arm up, we link the first place, the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide that elbow, tricep stretch. If you can find your hands behind your back, go ahead, find your hands behind your back. And don't worry, you're not able to do this. Slowly, slowly release, shake it up. We're going to repeat everything on the other side. Shoulder stretch first, arm up and then cross, pull back. Creating resistance, try to bring the arm close to your body. You're going to feel the stretch here in the shoulder. Be mindful for those who have shoulder issues, like frozen shoulder. And slowly release, same arm up, we're the first. Place the palm behind the back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow. Tricep stretch. Chin up, looking forward. Slowly, slowly release, shake it up. Hands on the shoulders. Elbows in, elbows up. Inhale one way, exhale here. Feel the pinch in shoulder blades, opening up on the half chest. Improving your posture. Expanding your lung capacity, oiling the shoulder joint. When you're in the center position, when you go into a full circle, try to draw the elbow closer and closer together. Change direction, go the other way.
slowly curve out your center. We're going to inhale the arms up, lengthen the spine. Exhale, we're going to the right side, bending the lower arm. Top arm, suppress the move. Chin is away from the body, eyes up. Feel the length in the side of your body. Inhale, center the length of the spine. Exhale, we go to the other side. Bending the lower arm, top arm, suppress the knee. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking up. Inhale, center the length of Exhale, twist. Give yourself a hug, opposite hand, opposite shoulder. Wrap the back arm around the waist. We're going to inhale to prepare, exhale to turn. Turning the neck as well. Stretching our lower back muscles. Massaging turn our wrists. Inhale, arms up to length of the spine. Exhale, twist. Opposite head, opposite shoulder. Wrap the back arm around your waist. Don't pull up back muscle. Now we're going to slowly curve back to center to lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist. This time, opposite hand, opposite thigh, wrap the back arm around your waist. Keep turning. Overlooking your shoulder, looking in the back, turning the neck as well. And we're going to stay here for three, two, and one. Slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm, forming the crescent, looking up. Slowly, slowly release, repeat on the other side, opposite hand, opposite thigh. The other arm will over, bring it directly behind the spine. You can keep turning. Inhale to prepare, exhale to turn, turning the leg as well. See if you can turn a little bit more with each exhale breath, using the help of the front hand. Slowly bring the body back to center, don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up. Forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly, slowly release. Hands on the thighs, sitting up nice and tall. Then we're going to come to the of turn, shoulder roll. So starting in a small circle, gradually do a deeper and deeper toss of turn. Moving your shoulders as well. Warming up the spine. When you're in the center position, go the other way. So we're gonna start out with a small circle first. Gradually, do a deeper and deeper toss or turn. Feel free to move your shoulders, warming up the spine. Slowly, slowly come back to center. To release. Inhale your arms up to lengthen the spine. Exhale back down. Walking the fingers forward, arms off the mat. Shoulders are relaxed. Keeping your spine and your neck in one straight line. You want to continue to lengthen the spine, stretching out the back, opening up the hip joint. Slowly walk the hands over to the right side as far as you can go. Feel the length in the side of your body. Slowly walk the hands over to the other side. As far as you can go, feel the length in the side of your body. Slowly, slowly walking the hands back. Now we're going to come to a neutral tabletop. Spread all your fingers, wrists underneath the shoulder, knees underneath the hip, top of the feet on the mat. Neutral spine. When you're ready, you're going to go into cat and cow. So inhale. Drop your belly, chin up, and look up into a cow. Exhale. Round your back as much as you can. Pull your belly tight, knowing down into a cat. So we're going to do this a few times. And your own breath. In your pace. Inhale one way. Exhale the other. 
connecting your breath with your movement. Creating spaces between vertebrates. Can I also help people to relieve back pain? Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. To cat. One last one. Inhale. Out. Exhale. To cat. Slowly, slowly come back to neutral. Swing side to side. Release tension in the wrist. We're going to take an inhale to send an exhale to open up the right hip. Let the left hip drop. Inhale, center. Exhale to the other side. Forming a C shape in your spine. One more set. Inhale, center. Exhale. To the right. Inhale, center. Exhale. To the left. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Straight side to side. Release tension in your wrist. Getting ready for bird dog, arm balance, right arm and left leg out, right thumb to the sky, back toes down, core strong. One straight line, holding it here. For three, two, and one, slowly, slowly release. Straight side to side, release tension in your wrist, and we're gonna repeat on the other side, bird dog. Left arm and right leg out, rigid stretch. Lengthening, core strong, which means pull your belly in. Engage your core abdominal muscles. Couple more breath, and we're gonna slowly, slowly release. Straight side to side. Front the needle next. Inhale the way up. Exhale, slide through the opening, dropping the right shoulder down. Left arm can be out for you, or wrap the right leg. Now we're gonna stay here. If you want to put more body weight on the right shoulder, extend the left leg out on your toes or off the mat. Don't worry about raising the back leg if you find that this is challenging to balance. Both hips are level. Wherever their weights in the head and neck. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly release. Using the left hand to push yourself up. Swing side to side. And we will repeat, thread the needle on the other side. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, slide through the opening, dropping the left shoulder down. Right arm can be down in front of you or wrap the right your waist. Beginner, you can stay here if you want to put more body weight on the left shoulder, extend the right leg out on your toes or off the mat. Any variation you like to challenge yourself. Don't worry about raising the back leg if you find that this is challenging for you. One more breath and slowly, slowly release. Using the right hand to push yourself up. So it's side to side. Now we're going to be doing down dog. We're going to get ready to come up. So spread all your fingers, tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up. Upside down, let it be. Pushing the mat away. Align your ears by your inner arms. So don't dangle your head. We're going to walk the dog out by alternating, bending your knees, mountain climbing, bicycling. Relieve any tension that you may have. Inhale to come up on your tippy toes, stretching on the toes. Exhale to lower the heel back down. Again, inhale, up, up, up on your toes. Exhale to lower the heel back down. Slowly walk forward towards the hands. Dangle here for a moment. Lengthening the spine. Stretching on the back. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, hold on to opposite elbows or behind the legs. Hip bones above ankle bones. Leg and stomach rest on the thighs. We are lengthening the spine, stretching on the back, opening up the hip joints, stretching the hamstrings. 
let the blood go again away for a moment. One more breath. We're going to get ready to come up and some waist for support. Inhale halfway up to a flat line. Exhale to slowly, slowly rise up to standing. Let your blood pressure get adjusted. After forward bend, we're going to go back bend counter. So interlace the finger behind. Back was down and away from you. Shoulders on top of hips. We're not pushing the hip forward. Chin is away from the bottom thighs. So open up. Soft knees, no longer knees. Continue to expand lung heart chest capacity. Feel the pinch of your shoulder blades. Improving your posture. Stimulating thyroid gland by lifting chin up and head back. Now slowly, slowly release, shake it up. Coming into a crescent move, all ten toes facing the front leg, second foot. Inhale the arms up, palm touch, release index finger. Legs up, bend towards the right side. Shoulders on top of hips, we're not pushing the hip forward or back. Chin is away from the body, eyes open up. Inhale, center the length of legs up to the other side. Shoulders on top of hips, chin is away from the body, eyes open up. Inhale, center, lengthen, exhale to the right, release the bottom arm, top arms and press it in. Get a little bit deeper in your side bend. Inhale, center, lengthen, exhale to the other side. Release the bottom arm, top arms and press it in. Slowly, slowly come back up. And down by your side. Shake it out. We'll get ready for sun salutation. So have a sip of water if needed. Top of your mat, big toes to touch. Align the edge of your feet to the edge of your mat. So listen to your body always, whether you're a new or regular yoga practitioner. Inhale, your arms up, palm touch, back bend, exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to a flat back, hands on shin, eyes looking forward. Exhale, hands on mat, step the heart back into a plank, shifting the way forward. Beginners can drop to your knees, tap your elbow by your side and bend. Inhale, cobra is modification. Or up dog, shoulders are relaxed, eyes looking up. Exhale, you can fall back on your knees, tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog, five breath. Spread all your fingers, middle index finger facing forward. Step your feet, not too wide, not too narrow. Hip width, align your ears by your inner arms. Eyes are located your toes. Now we look between the hands, that or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway up to flat back. Exhale, forward bend. Slightly bend the knees. Inhale, your arms all the way up. Palm touch, back bend. And then I'm down by your side. Into mountain pose. Continue. Inhale your arms up, absolute, palm touch, back bend, exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to a flat back. Exhale, hands on mat, step a hop back into a plank, shifting the way forward. Chaturanga is all one breath, don't flop down. Immediately slide up to up, dog or cobra. Exhale. Tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up, down, down, five breath. Shoulders are external rotation, elbows are internal rotation. Eye of the elbow facing each other. Coming into warrior one on the right side. Inhale, right foot forward towards the right hand. Pivot the left foot to 45 degrees. Heel 
to heel or heel to arch alignment. Arms up, holding onto your ball. Palm facing each other, pinky slightly curved in. Shoulders relax down from the hips. Eyes looking up. Front knee is 90 degrees on top of the ankle. Between second and third toe. Good solid bottom foundation. Now we open up into warrior two. So widen your stand. Bring your hands to heart center. As soon as you open up, arms are parallel to the floor, palm facing down. Do not lean forward, same down. Evenly distribute your weight between the two legs. Extend the side angle, right elbow resting on right side, left arm up, bridge and stretch. Open up the top hand, look at the top thumb. Not putting a whole lot of weight on the front thigh. Slowly, we move the top arm over to form one straight line. Form the baby finger to the back heel. Top palm facing down, lengthening the left side of your body. Wrapping the top arm around your waist, reach for the opposite thigh. Keeping the top shoulder up and open, looking up. No change in the legs. Slowly, slowly release. Coming into a reverse warrior. Flipping the right arm up. Left hand down the left thigh. Top arm is the crescent moon. Looking up. Feel the length in the right side of your body. This is a side bend, not a back bend. Slowly, slowly release. Triangle. Shorten your stand. Swing the hip out. I'm so in T. Shift to the front. When you can't go anymore, windmill the arms. Bottom hand, six o'clock. Top hand, 12 o'clock. Shoulders stack on top of each other, both palms facing out. Feel free to slide the bottom hand up and down to find a spot that you can stack the shoulders on top of each other. If you can straighten out the front leg, Lock the front knee. Slowly, slowly rise up. Use the length of your mat. Toes are pronated out. Your legs are about three feet apart. Coming into goddess. Arms up, chest level. Palm facing forward. Inhale up, exhale sink. Slightly tuck the tables in, go back your back. Don't push the knee beyond your toes. You're just going up and down. Let's do another three. Two. And one. Come down by your side. We're going to pivot the feet to face the other side. So we're going to lead with the other leg. So front knee is 90 degree at top angle. Don't wobble in and out. Back foot is at 45. Square the hip to the front. Are you ready? Arms up. Holding onto your ball. Palm facing each other. Pinky slightly curving. Shoulders relaxed down from the hips. Eyes open front. Now we'll open up into a warrior two. Bring your hands to heart center. Arms up in T. Not shifting forward. Not one arm higher than the other. Reach and stretch, palm facing down, turn a little bit of front fingers. Evenly distribute your weight between the two legs. Come in to extend the side angle, so left arm will rest in the left side, right arm up. Reach and stretch. Now putting a whole lot of weight on the front thigh. Look at the top thumb. Slowly with your thumb on over. Form one straight line. Form the baby finger to the back heel. Top arm facing down, lengthening the right side of the body. Wrapping the top arm around your waist, 
Give you the top soda of an open, but clean up. Slowly release, coming into reverse warrior. Flipping the left arm up, right hand down, the right thigh. Top arm is pressing, looking up. Slowly, slowly release. Coming into a triangle. Shorten this step. Swing the hip out. Once you swing the hip out, go like a straight. Um, Sally T, shift her front. When you can't go anymore, windmill the arms. Bottom hand, six o'clock. Top hand, 12 o'clock. Shoulders stack on top of each other. Both palms facing out. Lift and stretch. If you were to do this pose by the wall, all body parts touching the wall. Now we slowly, slowly come back up. Now we're gonna come to a wide leg forward bend. So keep your legs open in a big B. Toes are pulling in this time, so pigeon toes. Hands on waist for support. Take an inhale first, exhale, hinge. Leading with the chest. When your back is parallel out to the floor, release the hands down. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, go on to your block. Lining up the fingers with the toes. Bending the elbows towards the back of the room. Release the head down. Just be mindful that head is below heart, so if you don't feel good about this, you need to slowly come out of this. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, go back down, walking the right hand over to the left ankle. Left arm up, looking up. Slowly release the top hand, walking the hands over to the other side. Opposite hand, opposite leg. The other arm up. Slowly release the top hand, walking the hands back to the center of the mat. Getting ready to come up. Hands on waist for support. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale to slowly, slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Rise up to standing. Heel toe, heel toe. Bring the legs together. And then by your side, palm facing forward, legs are hip work, soft knees, so walk your knees, slowing down the heartbeat. Feel free to close your eyes, swing side to side, loosen up, calming the mind for a moment. Make a fist. Inhale, shoulders up to your ears, make it tight, tight, tight. Ah, oh, sign it out to release. Again, inhale your shoulders up. Creating a lot of tension in the body. Exhale, let it go. Two more times. Inhale your shoulders up. Exhale, let it go. One last one. Inhale your shoulders up. Exhale to release. Shake it out. Coming into balancing. My left is your right. Here we go first. Grab the toes, grab the mat. Sing the big toe down, shift the weight to the standing leg, bring up the other knee, flex the foot, turn the knee out to the side of the knee. So feel free to hold on to the wall or to furniture to set yourself up. Okay, on the opposite side. Walk in the standing leg and ankle, toss spine. So balancing is something that we have to practice. So don't worry if you come out of this, just get back in, holding onto the wall for support or a piece of furniture. Now we're slowly, slowly come back to center to release, alternating bending your knees, mountain climbing, bicycling, and we're gonna repeat on the other side. So we're gonna shift the weight to the standing leg, heel down first, grab the mat, 
Same to my toe dance. Bring up the other knee, flex the foot, turn the knee out to the side of you. And we'll look at the opposite side balance. So I'm holding them onto the window today to practice balancing. Apps are firm. Locate a focal point that doesn't move that will help you with balancing. And we will slowly bring the knee back to center. Hands so on weights. Extend the leg. Point the toes up to the ceiling. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Kick it out to release. Alternating bending your knees, mountain climbing, bicycling, stretching our hamstrings, release any tension that you may have. And we're going to work on the tree pose. So all four corners of your foot is pressed down, regardless of whether you're high arch or flat foot. Turn the other knee out to the side. To the calf. Thigh, half lotus, anywhere but the knee joint. Bring your hands to half center, press the palm together. Inhale first, exhale, rise up. Lengthen your spine. Inhale, exhale, open up your branches. Shoulders are relaxed, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Engage your core abdominal muscles, which means pull your belly in. But don't squeeze so hard that you're cramping. Now we slowly bring the hands together to release. Very good. Shake it out. Alternating, bending your knees, mountain climbing, bicycling. And we're going to repeat everything on the other leg, tree pose. All four corners press down, spread your toes, take the big toe down, shift the weight to the standing leg, turn the other knee out to the side of the foot. Toe down, calf, thigh. We never press on the knee joint. Bring your hands to the heart center. Press the palm together. We're inhale first. Exhale, rise up, lengthen your spine. Inhale, exhale, open up your branches. Shoulders are relaxed. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Digging the heel into the standing leg, standing leg, pushing the heel back. Tall and strong like a tree. Now we're going to slowly bring the hands together. Two, three knees, very good. Alternating, bending your knees, mountain climbing, bicycle. And we're going to slowly, slowly sit down. And we're going to walk on seated. So have a sip of water if needed, and we'll continue. Bring your sole of your feet together, wrap your hands around the ankles, setting them nice and tall. And we're gonna rock side to side, finding your sitting pose. Fly like a butterfly, flap about 10 times, opening up hip joints. Draw the heel close to you. Grab hold of the big toe on the entire feet. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, hinge forward, leading with the chest. Bring the arms on the outside of the shin. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Leg is long, spine is straight. Inhale to prepare, exhale to fold. Slowly, slowly come back up. And we're going to your wiper. Bend your knees. This is hip width. Hands behind you. Finger facing the same way as your feet. And we're going to drop the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it falls. Knees don't necessarily have to touch the mat. Hips can come off. Hip release. Now, when you're ready, we're going to drop both knees to the right side. So, forming a 90 90, you can adjust the angle. 
Make sure the butt stay down. Don't lean back too much. And we're gonna look at the opposite side. You're gonna immediately feel the stretch here, put your sub hip joints. A little bit of discomfort, staying here for three, two, and one. We're gonna come back to the center, wrench your weight for a few more times, hip release. So tension that you may have. And when you're ready, we're gonna drop both knee to the other side. So I open up into a 90, 90 degree. You can adjust the ankle. Make sure the bus stay down. We're not lifting the hip up. Look at the opposite side. You can feel the stretch here. Hold your sub hip joint. A little bit of discomfort. And we're gonna stay here for three. Two and one. Slowly come back to center. Wait, she wipe for a few more times. Hip release. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Straighten out the legs. Arms it a few times. Hands by your side, sitting up nice and tall. Point your toes up to the ceiling. Shoulders are relaxed. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. You point and flex both your wrists and your ankle. Strengthening the ankle joint so it's not so easy to slip and fall and twist your ankle. Be mindful for those who have carpal tunnel syndrome. One up, one down. So a little bit of coordinating here. Get the brain busy to coordinate your movement. Side to side, like a windshield wiper. Reduce swellness, increase flexibility, mobility in your joint. Now we're going to go into a circular motion. You may hear some clicking sound in your ankle joint. As long as it's stretch and not pain, it's good to go. Go the other way. Slowly come back to center, sitting up nice and tall, getting ready for a double leg forward bend. Inhale your arms up to length of the spine, exhale when you hinge forward, grow longer, placing your hands with the arm and feet, holding on to the end of the feet, the legs, or release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Neck is long, spine is straight. Slowly, slowly come back up. We come to a one leg forward bend. My left is your right. Point the toes up to the ceiling. Inhale your arms up to lengthen the spine. Exhale when the hinge forward, grow longer. Place your hands beyond the feet, holding on to any part of the foot. The legs, or release the hands on that side. So if you need yoga strap, feel free to pull out your strap. A little bit around your foot. So we're going to inhale to prepare. Exhale, hand from the hips, leading with the chest. So we're not yanking ourselves to come down. All your props, yoga strap, yoga block, are here to help you get into the alignment. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, release your fold. One more breath here, and we're gonna slowly, slowly come back up. And from here, we're gonna go into a seated twist, bring the band leg on the outside of the straight leg. Beginner, you can stay here. Those who can bend the bottom leg, go ahead. Both butts down, moving on the ground, opposite arm, opposite knee, draw it close to you. The other arm up and over, bring it directly behind your spine. Front arm can be stop sign here, try your hands. Inhale to prepare, exhale to turn. Turning the neck as well. Stretching our lower back muscles, massaging internal organs, helping you to digest and detox. Mm -hmm. 
and slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, counter twist, bending the elbows, what we're going to do now as we stretch our lower back and oblique the side of the body. One more breath, and we're slowly, slowly pushing ourselves back up. Strain out the legs, bounce a few times. And we're going to repeat one leg forward bend on the other side. So we get the flesh out from our butt, point the toes up to the ceiling, square the hip to our front. When you're ready, inhale your arms up to lengthen the spine, exhale. Hinging from the hips, leading with the chest. Body start directly on top of straight leg. Pretty soon your hands will be beyond your foot. Holding on to any part of the foot, the legs, or release the hands on either side. Feel free to use your strap. Now we're not doing head to knee, so neck is long, spine is straight, not yanking yourself to come down, entire unit come down. So come down with your stomach first, chest, have this last thing. Inhale to prepare, exhale to fold. One more breath here, and we're gonna slowly, slowly come back up. From here, we're gonna go into seated twist. Bring the belly on the outside of the straight leg. If you can bend the bottom leg, go ahead. Bow butts down, bow feet on the ground. If this is too tight, straighten out the bottom leg. Opposite arm, opposite knee. Draw it close to you. The other arm up and over, bring it directly behind your spine. Front arm can be stop sign hand, prayer hands, any variation. Inhale to prepare, exhale to turn, turning the neck as well. Stretching our lower back muscles, massaging internal organs, helping you to digest and detox. And we're going to stay here for three. Two and one, slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, counter twist. Bending the elbows, more room to come down as we stretch our lower back and oblique the side of the body. One more breath here, and we're going to slowly, slowly pushing yourself back up. Straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. Get the flesh cut out from your butt. Set yourself up for the boat pose. Bend your knees. Hands underneath the kneecap. Come up on your tippy toes. When you're ready, lift the feet off the ground. So I give you a side view. Don't lean back too much. Leaning back is actually harder. Bend your knees. We're going to stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly, slowly release. Catch your breath. Another round when you bend. Bend your knees. Lift your feet off the ground. You can continue to hold on this way, this way, next level, let go. And stay in here. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. Now we're going to transition to come lie down on your yoga mat for reclining poses. So take your time to come lie down. Bend your knees. Your spine will automatically release, keeping the natural curve in your lower back. So the first joint of your finger can pass through. Not to say that the entire hand goes through. Slightly tuck the chin in to protect your neck. Take a couple more breath, calming breath. Let your body get used to lying on its back. Feel free to close your eyes and listen to my verbal instruction. We're going to go into the bridge pose. So knees are bent, two fists apart. Walk the heel close your fingertips. If you have a block, if you want to squeeze the block, go ahead. Press 
Hands firmly on the mat. On the inhale, you're going to lift the hip up, forming a bridge. Exhale to lower down. One vertebrae at a time. So we're going to go inhale up, exhale down. Neutral spine. We're not pushing the stomach up. Shine the chest up to the ceiling. Engage your core, thumb, and the muscles. Your core to set and your glutes are firm. So in another word, squeeze your stomach in tight. Your thighs and your butts are firm, but not to the point of cramping. Now we're going to inhale to lift the hip up, arms up above your head, fingernails on the floor, exhale to lower the arms and your hip back down. So go your own breath and your own pace. We're going to continue to lift the hip up and slowly release down. Take your time. Strengthening the front abdominal muscles and the lower back muscles. Keeping your spine healthy and strong, especially if you have back pain. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Let's do another three. Two. And one last one. Slowly, slowly release everything down. If you have a block, you can remove your block. Strain out the legs. Arms it a few times. Coming into leg lift, point the left toes up to the ceiling. Slowly lift the right leg up to the sky. Using abdominal muscle. Hands behind the kneecap. Now, if you like, you can walk the hands higher up. When you're ready, lifting the hand chest up, head to knee, hamstring stretch. And now you feel the stretch is good to go. No need to overstretch to poor hamstring. Not carrying tension in your neck, shoulders, or upper back. Now, let me slowly release the head down. And down by your side. Nice and slow of control. Release the right leg back down on the mat. Once you come all the way in, bounce it a few times. Point the right toes up to the ceiling, slowly lift the left leg up using abdominal muscle. Don't just swing the leg up and down. When you're ready, bring the hands behind your leg. Lifting the hand chest up, head to knee, hamstring stretch. The long you feel the stretch is good to go. Not carrying tension in your neck, shoulders, or upper back. And slowly release the head down. I'm down by the side. Nice and slow. Good control. We're going to release the left leg back down on the mat using abdominal muscle. Balance it a few times. Press firmly on the mat. Double it lift. Use your core for all the muscles to bring both legs up to the sky. Flex the feet. Let the breath circle back to your heart. Energize the body. Once you have good blood circulation, it may improve your overall wellness. Increase your immunity level. Improve your digestion and sleep quality. Now we slide the head through up the leg, we're going to hold the big toe, lifting the head chest up. Continue to stretch hamstring. 
tables automatically come soft. Slowly release the head down. And down by your side. Nice and slow. With control. We're going to release the legs back down on the mat using abdominal muscles. Once you come all the way down, bounce it a few times. We release it on the right side. Grab your hands around the right. Draw close to the chest or armpits. Give it a good squeeze. As we massage organs on the right side, as well as ascending colon. Right hand on right knee, using a gentle circular motion. Five times one way, five times reverse. Massaging the right hip joint. From here, we're going to transition to spinal twist, right from our left thigh. Using the left hand, gently guide the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Right arm on shoulder height, arm facing down. Turn a little bit right side if your neck is stiff. Stretch, strengthen, and tone the lower back muscles, creating spaces between L4 and L5, helping you to relieve back pain. Now we slowly bring the body back to the center. Straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. Repeat when releasing on the left side. So wrap your arms around the left knee. Point the right toes up to the ceiling. Inhale, relax the grip. Exhale, squeeze. Massage your organs on the left side, as well as descending colon. So anytime you feel bloated or constipated in the abdominal area, Try when releasing, either lying down or sitting in a chair, and see if it is going to bring you any relief. Left hand on left knee, using a gentle circular motion. Five times one way, five times reverse. From here, we can come to spinal twist, so left foot on my right thigh, using the opposite hand. Gently guide the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Feel free to extend the top leg. Left arm on shoulder height, palm facing down. Turn a little bit to the left side if your neck is good. Stretching our lower back muscles, creating spaces between L4 and L5 helping you to relieve back pain. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly bring everything back to the center. Straight down the legs. Bounce it a few times. Bend both knees. Wrap your arms around your knees. Rock these side to side. Coming into a big circular motion if you like. Covering the big area. Massaging lower back and sacrum. Also helping you to relieve back pain. Change direction, go the other way. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Lift your feet up to the sky. Come into your happy baby. Bend both knees, hands on the bottom of your feet. Press down so that the knees are close to the armpit. Rocking side to side. Massaging the entire spine, entire back. Opening up the hip joint. Happy baby also help you to relieve back pain. As we massage the entire back. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Open up your legs in a big V and you can continue to rock side to side. Mm -hmm. 
Slowly come back to center, bring your legs together, and down by your side, palm facing down. Nice and slow, with control. We're gonna release the legs back down on your mat. Once you come all the way down, bounce it a few times. Bring the sole of your feet together, let the knee fall to form a diamond shape, and down by your side, palm facing down. Close your eyes for a moment. Slowing down the happy. Let gravity does its job to open up the hip joint. Relax the body. Relax the mind. As I'll be guiding you to Shavasana. You can open up your legs in the big key as far as the mat. Let the feet fall naturally. Arms are six to eight inches away from the body. Turning the palm up to face the seat. Have a slight curve in your fingertips. Close your eyes. Soften your face. Relax your jaws. Separate your teeth. Lower the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Scan your body and see if there's anywhere that's still holding on to tension. Let yourself go. Letting go of all your stress, worries, tension, anxiety, anything that doesn't serve you anymore. Focusing on your breath. When you inhale, belly and chest rise and clear. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to your spine. Stay very calm, relax, and still in the present moment, in your own little world. Couple more breath here. We're going to slowly wake up the body by breaking your fingers and your toes, turning your ankle and your wrist. Gently turn your neck left and right. Bring your legs together, point your toes. Inhale your arms up and above the head. Full body stretch. Exhale. And then by your side. One more time. Inhale your arms up above the head. Point your toes, elongate the body, exhale, and then by your side. Bend both knees, raise your right arm, roll over to the right side of the body. Come into a fetus position, let your blood pressure get adjusted. And when you're ready, use your top arm to push yourself up. Come into a comfortable, seated position. To close the practice, bring your hands to our center. Thank you very much for coming, sharing the joy of yoga together, and letting me guide through the practice. Always my pleasure. Namaste.